So today, we're going to practice a little bit our alphabet in Spanish, okay? So in English, uh, a difference in Spanish, uh, the alphabet, you have different kind of sounds or pronunciation for just one, one vowel. For example, just a fast, a really fast example. In English, we have these two words. We have apple, airplane, right? We have these two words. The, the, the both words start with the same vowel. The difference is the pronunciation of them. In the first one, we said ah, apple, apple, right? In the second one, it's different. We have a different sound. We said airplane, airplane, but it's the same vowel. That's a difference in Spanish. In Spanish, we have the five vowels, right? A, E, E, O, U. So these are the sounds. A for the first one. A, E, E, O, U. So when you when you find this letter in any word, if it's at the beginning, in the middle, of the end, this will be always a, okay, a. The pronunciation never change in any uh, any words. The same with the other ones. The same with e, the same with e, o, and u. And we are going to see today how how we use these vowels in Spanish. Okay, can you see the screen? Yes, good. So this is the alphabet. Yes. Super, thank you. And also, we have one extra letter in our alphabet. So let's see what, what letter is it. Okay, we have here. We have the alphabet, and here, how do we pronounce it? Tenemos A, B, B C, C, D, 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 A, and, and here we have uh, some words as an example about how can we use it. A from Andalusia, for example, C, we use more C for C, like Catalunya. Depends how we combine the vowels, that's another lesson, but um, depends how we combine the vowels. With some vowels, Letter C have one kind of pronunciation. In this case, with letter A, we said ca. In, in this case, Catalunya, for example. Let me show you the next one. Here, with these letters, tenemos el F. 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 H. 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 Here. Here and the top of this part, here you can see the pronunciation of them. F G H I J A. As we said, I don't know if some of you were in the last uh, virtual class, but we explained something with this letter. In Spanish, letter H is mute, so we don't we don't pronounce it. Okay, we said the name the letter is H, but it's mute. So when you find a letter H alone with a vowel, you can see it. You can see that it's mute. We just say the vowel directly. Then we have these other ones. We have the K, the L, M, N, O. The K, L, M, N, O. Just adding one more vowel because in uh, in English you say m, right? M. So we add one more. M m n n n l l the same. K l m n o o. The p q r s here is the same. We, we do not say just S. We also say S. 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 T. T. Here tenemos U. V. 
W X Y or also we said Y for this one it's easier I think Y and Theta Theta and what letter is the extra one? This one, letter N for us. So where is this letter belongs? We said uh, M N M N M N N O. Okay, it's together. The M N and N N. It belongs in that part of the alphabet. How do we use it? How do we pronounce it? Here we have two examples. Spain, for example, in Spanish, have a letter Ñ. So, España. España. With that Ñ, España. Also for kid, for boy, Niño. Niño. So, we have that pronunciation with the letter Ñ in the alphabet. So, here we are going to try to spell. I'm going to spell this one for you, but in the next page, maybe I'm going to uh, ask you for your help. Maybe if you want to participate, you are so welcome to do it. ¿Cómo se escribe? This is a uh, typical phrase that we use it in Spanish. ¿Cómo se escribe? Sometimes we hear a name, but we have different ways to write it, right? For example, uh, I don't know, Teresa. For example, her name is T-H-E here in class. But other Teresa are just T-E, right? So we have different ways to write different names. So here is the question, as you can see on the screen. ¿Cómo se escribe? Escribe, write. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo se escribe? Soy Valeria, for example. Soy Valeria. Oh, Valeria. Va Valeria. ¿Cómo se escribe? And then it's time for spell. How do you write it? For example, López is the last name here. López. ¿Cómo se escribe López? The L O P E Z. Again, L O P E Z. Lopez. And now here's a question. Why does O have unstress here? Yeah, it's, a, it's unstress. In that vowel, we do an intonation. Lo. Lopez. We have it. Lopez. The same way in the other example. Rodriguez, for example. Rodriguez. Hmm, Rodriguez. ¿Cómo se escribe Rodriguez? Tenemos R. O, D, R, I, G, U, E, Z. And then intonation is here in letter E. So it said Rodriguez. 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 There is our intonation. So, in this next page, in the next page, we have some greetings in different languages, but we need to try to spell them. So, let me check here to everyone. Who would like to help us to spell it? Can you show me your hands in the Zoom if you want? Claudette. Claudette, did I say wrong? Did I say it okay? Did I pronounce it well? Super Claudette. Thank you so much. Entonces, tenemos el primero en inglés. Hello. Pero hello. ¿Cómo se escribe? ¿Cómo se escribe? Hello. So spell the letters? Yes. Oh. Um, yeah, I forgot the H. 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 E. L. L. O. Thank you so much. Good job. Muy bien. This H, some of them, some of my students, for example, I had a student, there are kids, and you know, kids have a big imagination. So they said, oh, teacher, this letter sounds like when you sneeze, right? When you say, H, 
<laughs> right? Gotcha. So gotcha. they memorize like that. So if this word for you, you can memorize like that. Letter H sure. sounds like that. Sure. Like a... <laughs> you. Thank you. Muy bien. We have the next one. Thank you so much. Uh, René? Would you like to to help us with the other one? With the French? I'll try. I'll try. Um, one I draw. saw your hand. One. Yeah, one jewel. Um, beat bay, beat bay. B, muy bien. N, A. O, this one. O. Uh huh. N, A. Ha, it ha, it ha, oh. Hota. 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 Good job. Muy bien. <laughs> we have two more. Good job. Who would like to help us with the other ones? We have just two more. Good job, Rene. Tenemos ahora Halo. Ya, yeah? uh, Lynn. Is that okay? Yeah. So, H-A-L-L-O. Muy bien. Super good. Ahora in Spanish. Good job. Thank you so much. Who would like to help us to spell it in Spanish? Yeah, Teresa? So, it's... Oh, hang on. Um, H O L A. Ah. Muy bien. Thank you so much, everyone, to have for helping. Good job. So this is how we spell it in 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 Spanish with the vowels and the. So this file, we have all these files in Google Classroom. Oh, so if you sometimes, for example, takes one of our classes uh we have we have private classes also we have group classes but when you check on the google classroom all the materials will be for you okay all this material so here we have como se escribe also we have conversaciones and here i think we have time for one more and here okay who would like to help me to this to spell this country, we, we have words here. So, we have four more. Letter A, estamos con letra A, con esa. Uh, eh, Ma Maureen, sí? Did I say okay? Is the yeah, Maureen, Maureen, yes. Maureen, thank you, yeah. Maureen. Uh, let's see, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, that's paella, that's pear. Muy bien. A, E, L, L, A. Muy bien. Thank you so much. <laughs> the word is paella. Paella. Do you know oh. what is paella, girls? Everyone? Yeah, Ooh. Karen. Girls. You, Maureen, it's, do you know what is paella? Food. It's good. <laughs> it's food. Yeah, it's a Spain dish. Mm. It is from Spain. Mm -hmm. For example, in Bolivia, we don't have paella. So ah, it's Spain. Nice. It's good. Uh -huh. It's a Spain dish, paella. Or so, let's see, a Mexican dish. Who would like to spell the last word for us? Okay. And let me check here. I can see all your hands. The letter B. Yvonne? Uh, T O R T I L L A. Muy bien. Thank you so much. <laughs> tortilla. And we have different pronunciation here. We don't say we just one L, like tortilla. We said tortilla. Yeah. With that, can you? I don't know if you can see the difference at the end, but it's not tortilla. Because we, we, when we say tortilla, it's just one L, la. But in Spanish, we have the double L, that it's yeah, tortilla, yeah. and it's from Mexico. Muy bien. Good <laughs> job, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope 
that you enjoy these short classes that we have to help you with some uh, tips in Spanish if you need anytime. Next, next um, Tuesday, we will have another topic. So every Tuesday is different. So you are so welcome to join us. Thank you so, so much for joining this class.